Hello everyone, uh, here's what you see from the, the screen here. We have the image of the Razor Wars from the height of Hover Dam between 2015 and 2020, which is the day before the dam's build and, and the day during the operation of the dams. And in this video, we will uh, know how to do the chain detection about the water what the extent water flooded by the impact of the hydropower power dam. So let's do it. Uh, for, as you know, the, uh, the image I am showing you is Landsat A, and Landsat has many server bands, especially uh, for water uh, band 5, because the near infrared band it has a distinct characteristic with water. I will show you what what it means. Like here, uh, you can see from these pictures of the infrared band of the lens assay, you can see that the water has a very black, black color due to the low reflection from the, from, from the water. So we will work on uh, using only a single band, using only band 5 to, to mask out the water in both periods and see the change of the surface water in that area. So then, so let's start from 2015 first. So here's the river. You can see the river in 2015, and the dam is in this place. As you can see, it's the bright color. We refer to the concrete reflection from the construction. So uh, let's first of all, we need to click here. We we use the tools over there to click and see the pixel values of the rubber. Uh, you can see that uh, the pixel value of the rubber is around 7200, 7100, 7200, 7200, 7200, 7200, 7200, 7200, something like that. So I will use a tool to tell the computer that please uh, select the, select the the water that has the value uh, around 7,000 or 7,500, something like that. So I will show you. So we use a tool called raster calculator. Uh, and then, and then we choose one image. And then we tell the raster that please select the pixel value the less than 7500 and I save it uh, and I create a new result. Okay. What? Uh, what? Uh, 2015. What? Uh, and then I save and click OK. And we need to wait a moment. During the waiting, the, the reasons that uh, I choose the pixel value less than seven, uh, less than seven, seven thousand five hundred, because I observe that the pixels of the rubber is very low, is less than uh, seven thousand five hundred. But for other landscape, it's really high. It's more than seven thousand it's up to uh, fourteen thousand or fifteen thousand and the re here is the reason that I choose that pixel value and we visual the data here for our selection and let's change the style and you can see the water here is the water that we just masked at the moment so Let's work on the another picture of band in 2020. So let's turn on the band 2020. Here, here is the image of 2020. And you can see the reservoir is too huge. It's very huge. And let's mask it. But before we mask, we need to know the values of this raster. So the raster. Typically, it should be less than 7,500, something like that. So you can see the pixel value here is really a 6,000, it's 
and 5,000. And let's choose 65. As you can see, the pixel value is only uh, less than 6,500. So let's choose 6,500 for the 2020. To go to master, and we uh, select the band that we want to work on 2020, and then we select and tell the comp sure that less than uh, 6,500. And then we put set the directory, and we choose, uh, we give it a name, as 2020, so, and okay. And, and now the computer is processing uh, the, the broader image for us, that the number one value refer to the water, and number zero mean not water. And here, I, number zero not mean water, I don't want to see it. And number one is the raw rate stand, let's change the value to a line red C, and yeah. And let me move it up here. As you can see, here's the pictures of the here's the pictures of the surface rubber change over time. And we have two bands, we have two images, but if you want to have only one image to see where is the chain, where is the not chain. I will show you how to do it now. We go to the raster calculator again, and then we, and then we choose the image 2010. We multiply, we, 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 we just add, and, and fix all values. We multiply by, 10 and we plus the 2015 image and then we sell here chain water and then click OK and we will receive image with three value and I will explain you what this value means. Yes, the image what we have. So we have image with uh, several value, one, 10, and 11. So image uh, with value number zero, level number zero means it's nothing changed. Uh, for number one, it means that, uh, so number one, it means that it is the rubber, that it, it is not rubber in 2015, but it is rubber in 2020. So you can choose it and you can see it here, but it's not significant. Yes, and uh, and for number 10, it means that uh, it is water in 2020, but it's not water in 2015. So it's super dark. And number 11, it means that water in 2020 and 2015, all sub water. So here, as you can see the chain. And if you want to calculate the number or the size of the floods that represent in red color, the water that exists in 2020, but it's not in 2010, we can create a polygon and do the raster statistic. I will show you in the next tutorial. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know.